Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back. This is it, then. This is it. We've played Crystal Palace and Lille in between. We comfortably beat Lille, which is good. I don't know if these help us, like, with the board. But we won 3-0. Deli Alley with a brace and Ndombele with the goals. We scraped a win against Crystal Palace. Tagliafico with two goals. One late on to get a win in the Premier League. Massively important. Then we beat Everton in the uh, League Cup quarterfinal, which hopefully helps. Um... They got a late, you know, we're good at conceding late goals. Thanks, Loki. Just want to make no, more noise drinking. Cheers, Loki. Um, and beat them on penalties. Come to be on penalties. Uh, Hugo Loris is brill. And so, I, I'm not quite sure when the month is up because I didn't check. It's definitely, so we're playing Sheffield United today. I don't know if we'll get time to play the Newcastle. I feel like if we beat Sheffield United today, we have definitely shown improvement, right? Got, we beat Man City, beat Crystal Palace, even if you just ignore all the other stuff. I think it was here, wasn't it? So, it's definitely an improvement. However, if they just go purely on position in the league, even though we've got games in hand, then they might try. If we win, we go, we go seventh, which is... <sighs> so, I've changed tactics again. We're playing a narrow diamond... Because you know how I love number 10s and how good they are. Um, so we're playing an arrow diamond because, you know, fuck it. I'm desperate at this point. I'm trying stuff. I don't normally use this tactic. Um, Deli Ali's tired. and uh, so, But everything else is good. Serge Aurier is leaving the club. Tottenham fans. I might get sacked and do terribly. But at least I've given you one gift. And that's selling Serge Aurier. I think for about 12, 10 million quid. Um so he's off to China with Rafa Benitez and <laughs> Hamsik. <laughs> you sort of forget these players exist when they go off to off to China. Okay, so let's just do it. Let's just how the how is Sheffield United doing? Hopefully not as good as like real life. No, they're fucking awful. Oh, that almost makes me feel worse. Okay. Okay. I don't like this. I think we have to win. I think if we lose today, we get sacked. David Goldrick's beard is mightily epic. He's proud of it, isn't he? He's like, yeah, yeah, look at me beard. I've got a beard. Okay. Come on, Lise Mousset and Dave McGoldrick up front. We've got Son and Harry Kane, right? I've, come on, please. We'll go balance to start with. Okay, early highlight. Tagliafico into Winks. Okay, it's fine. Eric Dyer's playing in midfield today. Shout out Pereira. Unlucky. They do have Henderson in goal. Good goalkeeper. Come on, boys. Oh, is this... No, no. And is this highlight is still going. Yes! Come on, fuck him up! Okay, just press it, press it, press it. Easy, easy. We've got both our main centre-backs out now. Adavira, out. No, not a penalty. It's not a penalty. Oh my God, a VAR that's not a penalty. You were here to witness this. Oh my God. We got to win now, surely. The gods, the FM gods have spoken. A VAR that's not a penalty. Okay, why are we under the cosh though? <sighs> Come on, they're terrible. Oh my. We're going to get sacked, aren't we? I just can't find a system that's gelling this team at all. Look, look, look at this. They've won two games all season. And they're fucking playing like it's Liverpool in the Champions League final. Okay, maybe they're, they're just giving it their all first 20 minutes. If they don't score, they're going to start doubting themselves. <laughs> I'm trying to make excuses. Okay, Tananga, good, good, good. Okay, settle fucking down. What is going on? Like, yes, the tactic might not be amazing, but it's not this fucking bad. It's not unable to play football against Sheffield United bad, is it? And no offence, Sheffield United fans. I know in real life you're good, but in the game you're utter shit, all right? Yes, yes, Son. Do something useful. Please, finish it. Please. Yes. Oh, fucking hell. Individual brilliance and a mistake. That's all... <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. 50th goal for Spurs. Okay. <laughs> oh. I thought we were going to have an exciting one season where we see if we can get into the Champions League spots. Harry Kane's got a twisted knee. 
And what it's turning out to be is, can I keep my job for an entire season? I do have a new... I do have a new right back coming in in January for the next manager. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Come on, the FM gods. Look, look. We've been absolutely smashed. They've missed a penalty. They are disallowed a goal, a penalty. We've scored, luckily, basically. It's got to be ours. Surely. Good ball. How do I play it? Winks, Harry, play it. Yes! La Sanso! Come on! I'm not, I'm not, I, don't, I don't even know how I feel about this. We don't, des we don't deserve it. <laughs> okay. Um, don't let that happen. Okay. Unless, w unless you want me sacked, in which case, go for it. Okay, Bergies play. He can play up prompt. Okay, two 0 up. And if you don't look at the match stats, it looks like. Let, oh, hang on. There's a bug that the match stats don't sh oh, show. Oh, I was going to remove it. Okay. If you can hear, I don't know if you can hear this, like a weird sort of scurly noise in the background. That's somebody's generator outside the back of some shops, a hundred yards away, that needs oiling. It was like, oh, for fuck's sake, Gordon Freeman scored. <sighs> okay. First goal of the season. Of course it is. Of course it fucking is. This is awful. This is actually woeful football. Okay. It's like we're just waiting for one guy to do a, a, something brilliant. Not actually any, remotely a team performance in any way, shape or form. Here they come again. The mighty Sheffield United... Get a tackle in. Get a fucking tackle in. Closing down doesn't mean just run to the guy and stand there next to him holding hands. It actually means once you get there, try and make a tackle, win the ball. Yeah? Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't even know what to do. I'm frozen in panic. Oh, that, 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 let's just not look at it. If we just don't look at it, it doesn't exist, right? That's how stuff works. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Oh, hang on, what's he done? <laughs> what the fuck has the defender done here? <laughs> Somebody was sitting on the floor. Misses it. And what is this? What is that? Why is he slide tackling the fucking football? I don't even understand the lot. I don't even understand how he got there. It was just going to drop to his feet. He could have just hoofed it. I'm so confused as to why that is. <laughs> okay, we've got to change something. Oh my God, we're going to get sacked against Sheffield United because we're just terrible at football. You know what? I'm going to channel uh, probably the best England manager of all time. And we're going to play 4-4 four, four, fucking 2. Alright, that's what we're going to do, okay? Forget this overlapping shit, alright? Bit more width. Okay, do what you want, goalkeeper. Keep that. Um, still higher tempo, still pressing. You can play for set pieces. We've been quite good at them this season. That's just depressing though, isn't it? No, just balanced... Oh, no, we need to go attacking. We need, like, goals. Um, okay, do we have any wingers, though? Next next question. Right, Tagliafico. We bosh him up there, right? Get rid of fucking Eric shitty Dyer. Right, who wants to be a right winger? We, we're going to push him on. Who wants to be a right... Dimmy? Dimmy? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay, Winksy. Um, okay, is that it? Is that what we're doing? Is this is this what it's come to? Okay, go. Fuck. 
I would say I've lost the dressing room, but I'm not sure I ever, ever really had. Penalty! Referee! I'm not really sure I ever had the dressing room, to be honest. <laughs> okay, Sessignon. Come on, ball in. Decent ball in. Don't be a counter-attack. Go on, it's lovely. It's fucking onside. Get in there. Get in there, boys. Tagliafico is a, just a, a majestic beast. Where is he? He's there. Gets thrown to him. Plays a 1-2. Finds a lovely little pocket of space here. Cuts it back. Just dinks it back. And Son finishes it for his ninth of the season. Yes. Oh, yes. Come on, Bergs. Come on, Cheese. Come on. Come on. Come on, Big Mac. Go on, Big Mac. Go on. Everything but the finish. That's fine, though. Another penalty. Corner. That's what they... It's, they're very similar. Okay. We'll deal with that easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. The thing is, I'm just sort of thinking, oh, just get to the January transfer window. Like, I'm signing a right back. I'm not signing a whole fucking new team. It's not going to suddenly... Maybe just Serge Aurier is existing at the club is throwing us off. There we go. Easy win. Comfortable in the end. And now... Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't... I'm very... Uh, am I happy with that? No, no, no. I'm very happy with you boys. Okay. Let's stay with us. Because this should... Five days. Tagliafico. I've, I've given them all a week off training. I feel like we could find out any moment. So you're just going to have to stay with me. got Newcastle Man United next. Okay. We deserve the win. <laughs> all right, mate. Yeah. All right. Okay. I think it was around here. We've definitely improved. Look, we've gone up position. I was going to say positions, but I, don't, I think it might only be one. But you said improve, and it has improved. So technically, you can't fire me, and I will sue you if you attempt to fire me. Okay. I don't mind if we have to play Newcastle, home against 15th. I can, I can take that. I don't want to have to play Man United to save my job away against top of the league. That's bullshit. Doki's failure to improve his... Uh, this might be the first... Second. Second time I've been sacked. Is it the first... Is it the Churchill Bros? I can't remember if they said... No, it might be the third. Okay, it might be... It's definitely in... I've definitely not been sacked more than five times. Doki's failure to improve its overall performance at the club. was Okay, but I don't know what that means then, because we did. We've won four games in a row, including beating Manchester City and Bayern fucking Munich since we had... I think this is horseshit. I think this is... Let me know. Let me know what you think. So we got told here, which is completely fair enough. Poor run of games. We had one win on penalties in seven. Then we got told we need to improve. We beat Bayern Munich. Okay, we lost against Wolves. We lost against Leicester. But we also beat Man City. We beat Lille. We beat Crystal Palace. We beat Everton on penalties. And we beat Sheffield United. So I actually feel a bit hard done by here. I don't know whether it's, it's not taken into account into account results as much as it's just taken into account the position in the league. It's just gone, well, you've only improved one spot in the league. Which, technically, we could have won every game and not moved up in the table, mathematically. But we have, but maybe not enough. But not because we've not been performing, we've actually done all right. Who's favourite for the job? Is that Carlo Ancelotti? Thomas Tuchel. He's going to leave PSG for Tottenham. I appreciate <sighs> Ancelotti. Do you want to know who I'll sign in? Oh, shit, where is it? Um, Alfonso David. So we got this guy coming in. And we got this guy. 
Mario Fernandez, who's just a fucking beast and would have really helped us. Wow. So, I think the title is quite apt, really. All or nothing. Turns out, it's nothing. Um, <laughs> and to answer the question, no, I haven't done any better than Jose, Jose Mourinho. Which, technically, you could argue with because I didn't get a chance to prove it. I feel like... I don't know why I'm trying to be so up because, you know, that Sheffield United game was terrible. I love to know the, the, the actual coding behind it. Like, although we beat teams, are they looking at, say, in Sheffield United game or the Crystal Palace game and going, OK, you beat them, but we didn't really play well. I almost think it's really simple. It's just looked at the league table and says you've only moved up. I don't know how many spots it was, one or two, and gone. That's not an, what we wanted because... Purely based on results, it was a massive improvement. Literally a massive improvement. Oh, well. Not bitter. But I will hate Tottenham forever now. And I hope they get relegated this season. Right. There we go. It was supposed to be a short save. And indeed it was. Because... Daniel Levy's a big, baldy dickhead. I'll end it on that note. Um, just so you know, there's going to be an update video soon um, with my one club save and some new information and stuff like that. But basically, I'll do a proper video on it to explain all the reasonings and everything. But basically, um, I've been waiting on the club to get me some info because I wanted to do like a whole background history to the club and everything and get everybody hyped for it and all the shit they've gone through in recent years. And it's taken them a bit of time to get back to me because apparently they don't want free money. Um, and so what I might do now, because I was actually already considering next year for FM21, resting the journeyman for a year, just doing something a bit different. And so what I think I might do is do a one club save for the start of FM21. I also want to do a few other bits on the side, but I want to do that one club save, start it off with FM21. Make, uh, part of the reason is because Obviously, the viewership will be much higher on a new game and we want to try and raise as much money as possible. So it all makes sense to do it at the start of FM21 in November or whenever it is. Um, we'll do a fun beta save initially and then we'll do this because the non-league, English non-league thing comes out really quickly anyway. So I think that's the case of what we'll do. So what I need from you, and I've really, okay, despite this, how it's ended, I've really enjoyed doing these one season specials. So what I was thinking, and I also want you guys to add your suggestions, is I do one season, a couple of more one season saves, or maybe two seasons, it's a short term saves, but maybe at clubs we've really enjoyed in the past journeymans. Like the first one that came to mind was Venlo, doing a, like a season at Venlo, see how they get on, or a season at Lazio, or like all the different clubs. So feel free to suggest journeyman clubs that we've been to before and, and we'll see how we get on. Also, you can suggest any other saves that you want me to do. Keep it relatively sort of short term. It's not going to be a big thing, you know. Um, don't try and... I'm not going to try and win the Champions League in every season, you know, in all the different continents and stuff like that. But if you've got any ideas, and let me know what you think of the idea. I think it just makes most sense to do the one club save. Now we're in September, middle of September. I think it just might... Just wait a couple of months and do it as the big sort of launch save for the new series, because I do love a one club save, and you guys like like the Fort William. Um, if you haven't watched Fort William, go watch that, because it's, it's well worth it. But there we go. I'm sorry, Spurs fans. It's just how it is. I'm just going to just take the tram here job and just... Oh, we could get, get a Chelsea. Does Lampard been sacked, does he? Excellent, excellent. Hang on, let's just have a quick look. It's just Chelsea. Because where are Chelsea? Oh, ninth? Oh, so bad, so bad. Right, there we go, my friends. Leave a like, leave a pity like for this video. Let me know what your thoughts on the new saves, if you want me to do a, some of the random journeyman teams and all that sort of good stuff. And let me know what you think of the whole idea in general. I love you all lots. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Fucking Spurs. Absolute dickheads. Daniel Levy. Arsehole.